Meghan Markle here. Today is June 29, 2023. It is 2.58 a.m. I just finished edit one of the videos that I recorded yesterday. I think I only had one video, but whatever. Uh, right, so on my last video, which I just finished edit, I spoke about the uh, revenue estimate. Okay, everything is going up except for my revenue estimation so it remains in the 400 but whatever let's go on twitter all right so the is it yesterday or the day before the when it actually happened regarding the lawsuit i didn't see anything that was uh, on my timeline so i sort of searched some stuff and while searching i find something that uh, worth sharing with you because lately a lot of information are not coming on my timeline like the phone hacking and things like that so i have some stuff regarding the phone hacking but let's start with this one okay asking why he supported brexit and used his uk press to push for it rupert murdoch answered quote that's easy when i go to down street <laughs> they do what i said when i go to Brussels, they take no notice <laughs> Okay, there's that. I once asked for Bermuda, the same thing I just read. Okay. Survey for Brussels, except for the sprouts. I do not care for the Brussels sprouts. All right, so that's that, making fun of it. Okay, so the singular thing is this misery wrinkled old man ego. <laughs> My goodness, can you, I don't know. But those people that they elect, they don't think, like, if I destroy my own country, will i have the same power you know if they kick me out or something like that politicians or whatever you think that they would try to live a good legacy so when their kids you know their great grandkids look back into the history and said oh this was this is what my grandma grandpa or whoever was in power at that time but they don't think that way all right so the singular thing is this misery wrinkle old man's ego he is now 92, won't be long now. Yeah, he's about to go, but uh, he's really destroying the future of the younger generation. Royal family, politician, etc. Uh, what is it? Have, okay, have skeleton that Murdoch holds against them to keep them quiet and do what he wants. Heavy published spare, no secret. He said it all. No one, no one has anything against him now. That is why he can take on Murdoch and the royal family without fear. Okay, and take on the Murdoch and the royal family without fear. See the wise master strategist. The thing is that remember when Harry was young, they when Harry didn't have a say in thing. He was a minor, so his where his father was supposed to protect him because his mom was no longer there his mom was protecting him when she was alive but now that he's an older age he can defend himself so at the time when he was minor they were putting so many things out so he no longer care he's immune you know he doesn't care anymore all right they are scared because harry has nothing to lose as megan said they already lost a lot money is not his goal even if he lose the lawsuit, he will still win because the truth will be out. Okay, British media make you believe that, but Harry is not alone in that battle. Don't forget it. That is true. 100, about 100 people, I believe, is part of that uh, class action lawsuit. Okay, Harry is a true soldier and warrior. He is up against it. But no mistake, Harry has them scared. Or why are they amping up the hate? All right, vomit, there's that. All right, Team Harry. So let's go to the next one. I still have about Murdoch. I don't want this video to be long. All right, so I have a audio from Spare. Okay, 
When you listen to how Prince Harry completely eviscerated Rupert Murdoch and his minion journalist and spare, you understand why Murdoch Inc. made up of Fox News, Wall Street Journal, New York Post, The Sun, TMZ, Talk TV, Times haven't recovered. They took it personally. Spare by Prince Harry. <laughs> All right. Let's listen. Is a minute and 20 seconds. It was around this time that I began to think Murdoch was evil. No. Strike that. I began to know he was. Hmm. First hand. Once you've been chased by someone's henchman through the streets of a busy modern city, you lose all doubt about where they stand on the great moral continuum. And the worst thing is listening to that now. And remember, this is Spare. Spare came out, what is it? Is it January 10th? 2003 look on the screen i'll put the actual date i think it's january 10th or is it december 10th 22 or january 10th no it has to be january because around the holiday um it was the docu series that was playing and then january come was spare so i think it's january 10th 2023 all right remember that date and then that came out what was it uh when megan was going to receive her award and the chase happened all right so uh, let me move it back slightly oh man i hope it records modern city you lose all doubt let's start all over it was around this time that i began to think murdoch was evil no strike that i began to know he was first hand once you've been chased by someone's henchman through the streets of a busy modern city, you lose all doubt about where they stand on the great moral continuum. All my life, I'd heard jokes about the links between royal misbehavior and centuries of inbreeding. Hmm. But it was then that I realized lack of genetic diversity was nothing compared to press gaslighting. Hmm. Marrying your cousin is far less dicey than becoming a profit center for Murdoch Inc. Of course, I didn't care for Murdoch's politics, which were just to the right of the Taliban's. I didn't like the harm he did each and every day to truth, his wanton desecration of objective facts. Indeed, I couldn't think of a single human being in the 300,000 year history of the species who'd done more damage to our collective sense of reality. But what really sickened and frightened me in 2012 was Murdoch's ever expanding circle of flunkies. <laughs> Young, Broken, desperate men willing to do whatever was necessary to earn one of his grinchy smiles. And at the center of that circle were these two mopes, the Tweedles. <laughs> what he called them. And the worst thing is he's getting the young people, the young journalists to get involved into all of this. And this has to come with the way your parents raise you. If you had no foundation of moral, this is where these people get you. You forget about reality. You forget about the sense of stability. Okay. In term, when I mean by stability, I'm thinking of peace. The country, there's no war. There's no, uh, you know, anger among people. But when these people don't know the foundation of things, of stability, and then they just show them money, they quickly do it without any care in the world. And this is why I really respect Omid. He's young. He didn't fall for it. As a matter of fact, I think he has a book coming out. I posted on my community board. All right. Um, I'll put the screenshot of it and the link of where you could uh, purchase his book. Um, Pre-order. I'll put it in the description. I have to remember to look for it. All right. So let's continue. Of course, I didn't care for Murdoch politics, which are just right of the Taliban. Okay. She's uh, quoting what Harry just said here. Okay, I didn't like the harm he did to truth, his wanton discretion of objective facts. No one in the history of human species has done more damage to our collective sense of reality. Prince Harry. That is true. All right. He described the Murdoch journalist as Murdoch ever expanding circle of flunkies, young, broken, desperate men and women willing to do whatever it took to earn one of his cringy smile. Prince Harry. That is true. Thank you. Such a great passage added uh, to Dominion having won a defamation lawsuit against Fox and the amount of $787.5 million shady practices by Murdoch. I mean, 
I don't have proof of it, but there's so much more behind his tactic. I, this is like a attack in democracy. Any places that have democracy, that's where he's trying to break it. Okay, stability. When there is stability, no war, they want to destroy it. So like in the US and the in the UK, you see the stronghold. I mean, the UK is a different objective. When you look at their history, things that they've done, destroy their, uh, any proof of what they've done, a different level of things. Okay, but let's say, oh my God, even the United States. Okay, but a different aspect of it. Each one of them have their worse in their history but when you look within the country the the stability that there is no outside influence with asterisk okay another different bunch of things um where there's no war okay so in order like other countries cannot really destabilize the um those countries the u.s and the uk for instance okay and that aspect where outside countries all right cannot defeat them this is the part i want to focus on because each time i say a word you could look further into it there's still some negative part of it but the part where other countries fighting uh let's say the us and the uk it's very hard for them to win okay the, those other countries so in order to break that stronghold that stability that force okay so they have to do it within so by doing it with them within okay inside the country you have their own people the their own citizen destroying it for them okay that's all and i've always showed you the uh, incredibles that particular um uh, robot that they create it's an animated thing all right that particular robot it can only nobody can beat it nobody can really destroy it only the thing itself can destroy itself so this is the way that i see that's going on so this is what this guy is doing give money to those politicians flood them with money and all of that and then let them destroy the country within and then when you look at these people once the country is destroyed there is no foundation the stability is not there did they think about their kids their great-grandkids how are their great-grandkids are gonna live okay when there is no stability they consistently have to worry okay when you look at around the world if you would think okay the rest of the world is at peace there's no problem they could always move to another country but it's everywhere so where are you gonna go we live in a freaking bubble when you look at the earth it's like a freaking fishbowl Okay, like I said in one of the research video that I did in this video, I'll put the screenshot, you could look for it. Okay, it's like a fishbowl world of lies. You within a fishbowl, the only place you will go where you will find peace, it's pretty much in space, out of this world. But how can you get there? Do you have a way of living and sustain yourself up there? All right so this is the thing i i can't understand these people why they they see they have to go in that direction i don't know okay it's just pure evil within these people and when you, as much money as they give you what can you do with it can you literally put money in your mouth and you eat it and uh, it will get everything good or if you sick it will get all the sickness out Okay, when you look at things that cause cancer, the environment, certain things that happen within the air, these people, they don't care about it, but they care about money. When you do, God forbid, you know, knock on wood, it never happened. Okay, you have some sort of an illness that caused by whatever money they give you to just turn a blind eye. And now you have that particular sickness. Is the money that they give you you put it in your mouth you eat it literally physical money you put it in your mouth is it gonna cure you cure not kill cure you no the thing is out there because of your lack of understanding of basic things this is the thing I I, I really really cannot understand these people all right let's see here and so they should they were trying to destroy him long before spare came out yep all right he is the actual person that harry clearly labeled as evil not his part not really i mean they all fall into it the level of 
understanding these two, William and, and Charles, to not understand the power that they have in their position. Okay? Even though they can't make laws or whatever, but they hold a significant power within the institution of the UK. They don't understand that. But I, I don't know. Don't they know that they could... I really don't know. I really don't know what goes into these people's head to not understand their position. I don't know. And yet they're doing stupid things, even though they hold it against you. There are ways you could go and say, okay, if you do this, then I'll do that to you. I don't know. They don't know bargain. I, again, it's hard for me to wrap my head around the mentality of those people who's got, you know, who's already king and the heir to the throne still don't understand his position and this is harry understand his position this is why they had to get him out of there they tried to fool him but they couldn't get him all right bookmark this for posterity all right taking it personally the mount on sunday honor viscount wathomer well said i think they met i mean they they poked too much on harry he tried to avoid them bring his wife to come and help and and uh, help the institution they didn't want that so after you, you poke the bear too many times it needs to turn on you it needs to be left alone all right let's go to the next street now we are into the phone hacking this is the things i was not being saying oh my god i didn't see that <laughs> oh my god the squad or something okay that image is something all right let's read now that Prince Harry versus MGN hearing have ended, I see Piers Morgan is back to talking about Harry and Meghan. All right. Okay. I blacked this person. I have heard enough of you. Okay. I don't even need to see what this person said. Uh, he's really got nothing interesting to say, so has to rely on creating controversy. His days are done. People are waking up to the obsessed type like Morgan, Wooten, Levine. They make me yawn. Okay, cause Hoghead Piss Morgan is a punk, there's that, the word, uh, heavy on him and drag his, there's the word, we'll start with A, across concrete for filth. Let me look at this. <laughs> That's a very good, very, very good um, uh, Photoshop, the way they put his head here. Wow. <laughs> oh, no squad or something. God, he's a baggage for God baggage for God baggage for God okay he can talk about himself and a witness stand his rating must need uh, his ratings must need a boot maybe there's a possibility if let's say uh, remember Harry is suing the the paper not uh, Piss Morgan directly so if things doesn't go the way it's Harry wanted to go he could go after him personally each of these people individually so maybe that's why they didn't call him to um to testify because i said in one of my videos they could easily call him to court to testify subpoena him that's the word i was looking for okay thought he was told to not mention them till september all right i mean he's a baggage for god interesting though the judge will be listening okay i thought he'd be okay i thought he'd be gagging okay i thought he'd been gagged Till the end of the case judges made no decision as yet hope the judge is listening okay must be must must be a coincidence okay i didn't i'm not in the uk to know that but if they don't put uh, some screenshot or some clip of him saying i don't know yeah but not prepare to put his money where his mouth is and defend what he did in court even judge mentioned it uh he can risk um, perjury okay pm coward coward he didn't want to talk about it in court uh, but i think there's a pop, um, possibility yeah they might sue him individually all right next to it all right so now we this is what happened in the last i guess the last time uh the last day in court i was not seeing any of these on my timeline it's later on i they popped up and i forgot to actually search for it on that day because i wasn't aware it was done okay i mean this is rebecca barry i'm in court for the final week of the mirror group newspapers phone hacking trial barristers are making their closing submissions the judge will give his ruling later in the year all right that's a lot of people they had to listen to 
All right, so let's continue. Prince Harry's barrister, David Sherborne, says the fact lowers. Prince Harry's barrister, David Sherborne, says the fact lawyers for Mirror Group newspaper only called three journalists to give evidence during the seven week trial. Oh my goodness, seven weeks! Seven week trials, quote, leaves fatal holes, end quote, in their, in their case. And this is where I said uh, Harry could have easily, you know, Harry's lawyer could have easily um, subpoena, um, what's the guy? PM, P Piss Morgan, to testify, all right, because that he has some sort of a connection to the case, all right. Previously, the judge questioned the absence of 29 key witnesses, including for mirror editor, uh, including for mirror editor Piss Morgan. Today, David Sherbon said it was quote not so much Hamlet without the prince, but Hamlet without the entire royal court of Denmark. All right, lawyers for mirror group newspapers say quote it is past. It is impossible not to have enormous sympathy for the Duke of Sussex and in view of the extraordinary degree of media intrusion he has been subject to throughout his life due to his position in society. But they go on to say, quote, the Duke of Sussex has failed to identify any evidence of voicemail interception against him nor any other evidence of unlawful information gathering and respect of his private information save uh, save for one occasion which is admitted by mgn <coughs> lawyers for mirror group newspapers said quote uh, the true purpose of this litigation appears not to be to uh, achieved compensation for unlawful activity by MGN, but instead it forms part of the Duke of Sussex campaign to reform the British press. All right, end of the year, that doesn't sound reasonable. I mean, yeah, he, he, we what, in June, before the end of the year, we have another six months. So a hundred people to go back and listen to all of those people and majority of them, I didn't even share them. I wasn't even aware of them or if they even covered it. The papers that you covered did not cover it. All right? So it's a lot of information for the judge to go over and make a decision. All right? Is it for it to go to trial or is that it to give the result if those uh, uh, people who suing the newspaper went? Okay, let's see here. Uh, later, as in September, which is just a few months away. Uh, it doesn't matter. I, I think it could take as much time as you want because that's a lot of things to review. And you want to make sure you get it right. If the, the judge is an honest judge. So, that's that. I hope for success for anyone who has brought a claim, the mirror's behavior has been unacceptable and they should face the consequences. Good morning, everyone. Have a lovely day. All right. After these, that's it. I hope for the best, but I also prepare for the worst. <laughs> All right. Look at this. What was it? Not too long ago, a couple of days ago, Rupert Murdoch had uh, some, uh, how do you call this, a party and some of those people were there. I don't know if the judges were there too, but the papers, uh, some prominent people, politicians were there. So I don't know. The judge will give his ruling later in the year. Wouldn't you forget most of the evidence given by then? All right. It's disheartening. Almost six months to receive a decision. That is a lot of time for a judge to be influenced. You could think of it that way too, but at the same time, you could look into reviewing all 100 people things, uh, unless there's audios and documents, I don't know, influenced by an entity allegedly known to use information they've gathered to their advantage. I hope all 100 claimants are giving the best outcome. Yeah, that's all we want. Go get them, Harry. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. Okay, breaking. Prince Harry's popularity has fallen to its lowest ever, <laughs> ever level in the UK. I post this on the community board. Yeah, I was laughing about it. All right, so there's this picture when he was coming out of court. And this, do I? Oh, I have this in a video from a uh, couple days ago. Well, two days ago or whatever. Nobody was there. I, uh, I took screenshot of the video frame by frame to show you there was nobody. 
And the thing is that the people at the end from William's outing, and I thought it was people who were waiting for him, but they were camera people. Uh, right? I blacked this person. The distraction and misinformation is a way of distract world family looming scandals. I'm not interested in what the poll says. For all we know, the tabloid informed rubbish news plain BS. Okay, there's that. People are laughing. There's that. Heavy step. Okay. Heavy steps of foot in UK for hours and he and the news are all over him like flies to, to sugar. Heavy step heavy steps of foot in UK for hours and the news are all over him like flies to sugar. No one believes heavy is unpopular anywhere. Okay, I would really like I would really like to know where these bulls are. I haven't seen any of them they have used ever. Honestly, I think they make them up. I mean, that's all it is and fill the percentage or whatever they want themselves and then print the clap track as facts. Okay, he doesn't care. He doesn't live there anymore. Why does this matter? Okay, you go where Camilla's nephew reportedly worked, sorry, saying it does, doesn't make it so or wills it into ex existence or wills it into existence doesn't work for popular love heavy doesn't work for unpopular despise camel camilla polls are meant to influence not to inform all uh, right shujan it's that unpopularity that explain why british press and pops waiting from the crack of dawn outside of london courtroom on a day he wasn't even scheduled to attend court some waited all day to try to snap just one pick of the unpopular ones there's the laugh there are more barriers than people waiting for prince william <laughs> yeah that was in scotland all right next tweet this one i had shared that the one that i just share with you and that one too so when i was sharing this with you that one this clip i wasn't uh, able to share it with you because it took the entire screen and then uh went on my community board it will not accept it due to the size of it okay why so quiet royal commentator richard fitzwilliam is also questioning why the site has not been updated he told the son quote the question is why are they so quiet at the moment what is going on <laughs> they're not embarrassing to even say these things Quote, it really doesn't seem they are brewing something up. Uh, I would not be surprised if we had an announcement from them very soon. What we, <laughs> they're going on Harry and Megan's website, Archwell, to see what's going on. That's what I'm assuming this is making reference to. Okay, what we're all waiting for is the Sussex's fight back. I mean, they didn't listen to what... Um, Tyler Perry had to say so let me read the caption I'm not gonna read what I just read there again okay royal reporter Richard Fitzwilliam is asking why the non-royal California couple is so quiet instead of asking why heir to the throne was met and silent while on royal tour quote what we are all waiting for is the Sussexes mind you all the remaining royals in the UK are out <laughs> Oh my god, without the Sussexes around, the locals are now paying attention to the remaining royals and it has exposed them for the empty shells that they are. What? <laughs> That's why without Harry and Meghan out and about, they've resorted to making up stories about them as a diversion. Alright, they are demanding to see the money makers. Someone called the A-listers, mortgages are due and remainders can't make it rain. Alright, the ir irrelevant ones. <laughs> All right, so there's that. After this, that's it. All right, he shouldn't hold his breath for the Sussexes to fight back. Prince Harry is now wise to toxic British media tactics. And Harry and Meghan's Netflix, he said he now consume 10% of what he used to in terms of UK stories about them. He's taking a leaf out of his wife's book, finally. All right, there's that. I'm happy to... Uh, and not, don't forget, we have all those wise business people who don't need their money or don't need to associate with them to give them advice okay you have oprah you have tyler perry you have melody hobson you have so many other people who had made it big they have tons of money in their bank account they don't need harry and megan's uh, popularity okay they have these people to advise them on how to deal with these people all right and uh, they're learning 
All right. I'm happy to assist Richard and any other journalists with a visual on who they need to focus on. Here you go. <laughs> a notorious 300 pound liar. It speaks volume that uh, he carries on with no consequences, whatever for commenting on an interview he hadn't seen. All uh, right. Oh, so I, I, I know which person they're talking about. He had that weird voice. Next to it. Okay, quote, the months this year when the Duchess of Sussex had not been seen or, or heard in public certainly then stopped dozens of stories being written about her every day. The king, whose foundation has been caught up in a criminal investigation, on the other hand, ah, oh, is there a, okay, on the other hand, curiously hasn't appeared to evoke much interest for many of those who dedicate their lives to covering the royal family okay so there's a link here what is that okay i'll put i think that's a link of something the other day i was wondering what happened to omid i didn't hear much about him okay so let's see here <laughs> omid i don't hear much about him that was yesterday okay king charles deserves to be oh is that a firewall okay okay i cannot read it Okay, I cannot read it, so you need to. I'll leave the link anyway for you guys. Okay, so she took a screenshot. Let's read that one. I think I shared that with you. The nature of this relationship has created a bit where impartiality, though often claimed, is rarely a reality. Being critical or negative in one's reporting when, necess when necessary will ultimately mean risking those precious relationships. So impartiality is usually flex in other more easy ways, namely focusing on stories about royals that won't damage relationship with the palace. For the past four and a half years that this free option has been the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, whose unpopularity behind palace wall as working royals and now their autonomous life in California has made them easy father for more critical coverage. Okay, it's why staff turnovers at the Sussex's Archwell business continue to be prime tabloid ammunition and why Kate, the Princess of Well, hasn't had to face many questions about the four, okay, five, if you count the one who accept the job, then mysteriously change her mind, private secretaries who have worked for her over the past six years. And it's why the story of that paparazzi car chase in New York furiously poked for holes within minutes of it breaking. But coverage of Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh's taxpayers funded motorcade tragically taking the life of an elder elderly woman hasn't been the focus of dozens of opinion pieces. <laughs> As I'm reading this, some of the things that had happened you know those tragic those things that so many uh staffs have you know come and go with the world they don't cover it if the judge pay attention to this and don't think about the money aspect of things and focus on the country itself and how the country is gonna move forward if he thinks in that perspective i don't think any amount of money will make him change his mind in terms of following the law and do the right thing that's all people want uh, things to be done just follow the laws whatever is in the book and follow it and then see reality how the country is turning the country is it, almost underground people are suffering you know they can't pay their bills they can't hit their homes and all of that so if he thinks in that aspect focus the border things of things when the, he give he deliver his decision for the phone hacking case we should be okay that's all he needs to think about. And we know they're going to try to influence him. Or maybe he could use that against these people and say they need to go to jail for trying to, you know, influence him. These are the people, you know, who have their head on their shoulder, who will do the right thing, who most likely do. But we shall see. And I was surprised with Megan's case because this is the time I was worrying for Megan that they were going to try to influence the judge. You know, because when I see what happened to um, Johnny Depp, I was like scared for Megan. So we need to keep on praying and hope the judge, you know, uh, do the right thing. All right. So this is under the same tweet. Prince William's home words came blasted by homelessness expert. June 27th. Wow. 
they're really going after them they're putting they're doing all of this oh my kaiser and they're doing all of these and then they can't get positive coverage still okay oh there's more oh by celebrity okay on monday prince william launched homeward his new homelessness program kensington palace has been uh blanketing the british media with grandiose talking point about how william is the heart of so heart and soul of this homelessness program and he's personally funding a program Mm -mm, with the goal to end homelessness when you look past the entire peg centers narrative <laughs> that's a shade here peg centered narrative homeward sound less like a groundbreaking initiative and more like the royal foundation simply throwing three million pound at the problem and expecting other people to solve it in william's name never mind the fact that actual homelessness experts are also wary that this entire effing scheme Mm hmm Yahoo UK had more details about how Homeward is structured as well as criticism for William's whole mindset. Uh-uh-uh. So I was kind of right in some of the things that I've said. They're not there to actually put, you know, hands on, just do it and then let me go <laughs> cut the ribbon. And you had Harry and Megan who had their passion into the things, but you kicked them out. Okay. All right, I love this. Omid was way more rich than the likes of Levine, Wooten, and Brower. Omid's books sell. He is in a major publication and news website. Thank God he made a determination to report fairly. That's all. This is what's saving him. If he had, if he had fallen, uh, you know, follow the lead of those evil people who not, you know, tell the truth and just distort things, uh, he would be in big problem. But his books are selling. Uh, I'm not going to buy this book. Uh, I'm sure the squad will be uh, putting uh, <clears throat> clips here and there. All right. So that's that. Imagine losing five PAs, personal assistant, and five years, and nobody in the British media saying a word or calling her difficult to work with. There's a ruling. Eh? Okay. I think he is going to have, okay. I think he's going to have to move to another country. Yeah. Uh, Omid, probably. Because th there's so much more, so much talent that he has. He could do much better someplace else. But over there, they, eh, it's like a fishbowl. You cannot surpass. Okay, that is why they are pulling around with Murdoch and his ilk. Okay, it's behind a paywall for me. Uh, where can I read the whole thing? Okay, Omid is back. Yeah, I didn't see him for a while. I think I mentioned in one of my uh, videos. And the next thing I know is he's out okay he was busy uh, writing the book maybe he had a deadline for the book okay that last paragraph oof another hate piece on the royal family get over it already it's not a hate piece we see the truth i mean go just go back to some of my videos some of the things that i just read here i mentioned in some of my tweets okay so okay let's read this before i black <laughs> okay oh so the truth is hate now there's that whose truth yours uh go tell your peeps to keep harry and megan names out of their mouths okay now the commons name good try and not interested in your excuses all right so yeah time to black 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 idiots okay so with that being said let's move on next tweet i'm already 40 minutes i can believe this oh there's omid here what did he say here okay uh, we know it's selective outrage. Okay. The guy who said the New York pursuit went up to 80 miles an hour tweeted. Okay. Where are any arrest? Okay. We know the truth about that. Okay. Go back to some of my videos. CMZ, which is owned by Murdoch. Okay. Talk about the truth there. All right. Go to some of my videos back then. They will tell, um, I have some clips at that yeah, time that happened, that, um, that happened. And then remember he's in the UK things that they were telling him i don't know but let me not make excuses for him but um i have the truth in some of those videos that i've shared with you a uh, different type of people who's telling their encounters not just the tmz not just certain uh cnn or whatever even people in the ground radio station from is it hat 97 or something like that they were telling their perspective of things uh paparazzi um smashing into parked cars and all of that okay i have all of this just go back and watch that so let's listen to what uh what's it what is it he has to say omid yeah i think <coughs> it's it's important to sort of break down what that two-hour chase 
was because I think from when you read the statement, you assume it was some sort of fast and the furious situation in the middle of New York City, which we know crawls at snail's pace. And what I understand from speaking with their team and from sources, this was a pursuit that went on for two hours. It was sort of a game of cat and mouse with the paparazzi who were desperate to get a shot, desperate to find out where they were staying, desperate to see if there was an after party or if they were with their children in New York, those exclusive pictures are worth a huge amount of money. And so as they meandered and sort of weaved throughout the streets, their car sometimes sat in traffic, surrounded by uh, photographers on bikes and cars behind them. And then there were moments where the road was clear and the car went up to 80 miles an hour, trying to lose some of the people that were following them. And of course, as we heard, there was that desperate moment towards sort of the end of the sort of, or into that, close to that second hour where they even stopped at one of the police precincts in New York just to sort of like get their bearings and figure out the next plan, which of course saw them getting into a taxi briefly for 10 minutes to try and evade the paparazzi. Do you it's know sort of a dangerous they... game. And, oh. That's pretty much it. That's what I'm aware of. He is absolutely 100%. You could compare what he said, go back to some of my videos around that time. Pretty much he ex summarized it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Okay, um, did I let me make sure I get the next one correctly because sometimes I skip them. Okay, is that the one that I just read? Okay, this is a different one. Yeah, I almost skipped that. All right, let's see here. It's uh, Pegan Cholani who's retweeting what I just went over. Okay, it's absolutely mind boggling that Kate having five new private secretaries in six years have never prompted discussion around her ability to get along with other women and Sophie's motorcade killing someone was treated as an irrelevance. But Megan breathing is always a headline. All right. So I went over this. Let's see what some other people have to say uh, under her retweet. Okay. The royal family are only born because they're almost never scrutinized. If William and Kate's living arrangement and Anne's marriage, Camilla Media con conniving, Andrew's lachery, Tendo's financial deals, and a few other things that can't be mentioned were put under the same microscope as Harry and Meghan. All right, nothing to see here. Please disperse. I mean, it's just a matter of time because there's so much some people uh, can take. When you get them angry and they have nothing to lose, this is where these people should be very careful with. When people have nothing to lose, poof. Okay, she has, she has the same female nanny for nine years, the same female protection officer for thirteen. Wh where are they coming with these numbers? Okay, for thirteen years, if it's protection officers, she has no say on that, because they're just there to, you know, as security purposes. They can't just take anybody. All right, so I don't know where they, these numbers are coming from. Okay, a lot of her staff have been with her for nine years. I mean, I report on one, wasn't, what's that TV guy, Ramsey, one of uh, his uh, secretaries or something went to work with her. And then next thing I know, maybe a week later, she decided to quit. I have it in some of my videos. Okay. So it's not like we're making up stuff. I remember that very well. Okay. So how come I never come across any of these that she uh, mentioned here? Uh, but then again, I didn't, for nine years, I wasn't covering them for nine years. <clears throat> I didn't care. A lot of her staff had been with her for years. A private secretary is a demanding job. Some can't cut it. Some can't. Male or female. Or for the motorcade incident, that's low. I mean, it is what it is. Can you imagine? Megan closed her freaking car door. It was a used scandal. Okay? A used candle. She eat avocado. It's another scandal. She did a cookbook. It's a scandal. It's one thing after another. So, all right. Uh, the very same can be said about Megan, but it isn't. That's it. Okay, which was my point. No one said private secretary was, uh, was a demanding job when Megan lost one that had been loaned to her temporarily. No one remembered mother kids can be fatal when Harry and Meghan were rightly concerned about the behavior of pops. Bingo! This is why I follow uh, Pagan. Very common sense thing. Yeah. All uh, right. Because Harry himself, he knows the consequence. I'm sorry, the other brother doesn't understand the consequences of the paparazzi chasing people. 
but he should have known especially his mother went through that okay heavy understand and learn okay or the fact that Kate literally does not have a female friend at all they had to do a PR shoot with an old college buddy before the wedding because the press called it out yeah I remember that picture I could just see it I think they were the one that I remember I don't know if there were many others it was them walking on a sidewalk and I think it was that female friend who had some sort of a sex shop kind of thing business all right well said exactly geez I wish I was in a royal I wish I was in royal I could do whatever whatever and get away with it what about that but I will not stop okay but I will not stoop so low to do what what they do all right it's so out of it's so out of kilter the momentum will be uh, will break them okay the momentum will break them it's just a question of how long it will take this is what I'm saying okay it takes when you get people angry when they don't care this is the part where they have to be careful okay divorce death coronation scandals are the only uh viable currency for brit media it clears uh what is it charles and camilla william and kate wow i can't believe i <laughs> usually i can't i don't know what they mean by all of their abbreviation but this one i think i got it charles camilla william and kate special project have zero visibility or traction okay it's definitely enough to get your blood boiling okay it's infuriating me i uh, i mean i really don't care because it's not my tax money uh once they start talking about harry and megan mostly megan and the kids that's where I, I have a problem okay well in their defense if every time you breathe you put uh, a million pound in your Montecito bank you will be drooled over a poke jealousy too then she had the nerve to sell out every item she wears what someone needs to block that okay be articulate win awards okay it's her hard work am i getting this correctly it's definitely her fault for being the one the only one okay let me get this Yo, well in their defense if every time you breathe you put a million dollars in your Montecito bank you will be drooled over all right and poke jealousy too okay that's a shade she's throwing for, um, over there then she has the nerve to sell out every item she wears be articulate when awards it's definitely her fault for being the one the only okay so that's a shade now I get it all right so let's move to the next one all right there's more comment but let's move on looks like i bookmarked mine okay so this is me here what oh that okay i'm not gonna play that youtube video but you guys could go and check it out yourself they call every well-minded people that they cross path with crazy meanwhile the people they call crazy were too nice and normal for them they are the crazy ones okay so that's this guy here uh what's his name wow or something like that oh dear how it turns out that megan marco is a medium she has told harry that uh, she is in contact with diana and diana agrees with everything she does there's a live source tom Brower. <laughs> these people are crazy i put it on my uh community board and i was out i went to play volleyball with my son okay this is so embarrassing you can't make this shit up. Heavy actually believe that Megan talks to Diana. Seriously, this, I'm telling you, we all could be a uh, royal expert. I definitely could be one. Yes, seriously, this revelation exposes the extent of Megan Markle's psychosis and her attempt to control Harry and how dumb Harry really is. <laughs> okay, this one I black. Post the link here. You must have said something stupid and they ask. Okay, they call okay so that's the thing i just uh that's the thing i just read that's my heavy your dead mother wants you to marry me <laughs> oh my god do they listen to my podcast with my crazy thing my humble opinions her talent never sees <laughs> the squad carried out okay someone i cry i it's someone that i blocked okay i told my hubby this will happen before the wedding she is a scanner plan well okay correction source Tim Barrow's sisters cousins boyfriends mother-in-law postman oh my lord all right let me move on let me spend time on the next one this one i saw it when i turned on my computer regarding tyler perry 
All right, so that's this here. Television has had my full focus for the past 10 years. Now I'm getting back to my first love. I got some good ones coming your way. You just wait. All right, so this is Tyler Perry who actually tweeted that. Okay, and then I take screenshot and post it on my community board for you guys. Okay, that's a deadline. Tyler Perry sets first movie, Black, White, and Blue, under his four pick pack at Amazon Studio. Wow. June 28, 2023. Okay, beautiful. You're on inspiration. There's that. Congratulations. Well, look at you. <laughs> okay. So part of you, I get excited to see you become a forgive I'm our community. Okay. We never had or seen. God bless you. Oh, there's that. Congratulations. You always know how to surprise me. I hope it watch worthy. I'm so picky. Congrats. Such inspiration. My man. We know it will be excellent. Good. God bless. Oh, I can't wait to see it. All right. So this is my last one. Uh, let's go into that. It was there something more to it. No, that was that. All right. So let, this is my last one. This is a funny thing regarding TikTok. I'm telling you, these are the things they flooding my timeline <laughs> with TikTok. The news that I find for you, I have to search for them. So there's this here. I bookmark me. Okay, once he gets home, mommy, that's not what the doctor said. Let me pause it. Okay, it says the original caption. The way she's having a regular convo with the baby is like, quote, you going to write this down for me? <laughs> I thought she was talking to uh, the mom must have been in the room. I think that's what it is. Okay, I, I mean, I take my kids to doctors. The parents have to be there. It's probably talking to the doctor. I mean, the doctor probably talking to the mom or the father, whoever is there, the care, caregiver. And then the baby is there looking at, uh, at the doctor. So they're keeping an eye on her or him. Let's the listen. Is to do less stuff in the bottle and definitely less medicine for reflux. But um, <laughs> because as long as they're gaining weight and as long as they're generally pretty happy, happy foundation is to yeah. do less stuff in the bottle and definitely less medicine for reflux. But um, because as long as they're getting weight and as long as they're generally pretty happy, happy foundation is yeah. Easy. So that's it. It's talking to the mom, but they have to keep an eye on the baby because the baby is on the table. I don't know if she call or he calls yet, so they have to keep an eye on him. So I think they're talking to the mom. All right. So that pretty much it. What else? I'm done. All right. So I need to review this. What is that? Okay, Megan Marco and so I. So I need to review this before I start putting them on my community board because, uh, okay, so let's add this one. Maybe this one is a good one. Oh, it's a long thread. I'm not going to go through all of it, but, oh, what is that? There's more things. All right, so there's this. A friendly reminder that the Royals don't have to disclose detail on short helicopter flight because they don't hit a certain cap. One year. There was about 500,000 worth of flights. Oh my Lord. Okay. So she retweeted that campaign to abolish the monarchy. Flying visit. Prince William's Windsor luxury tax funded helicopter flew at least 10 flights in just two days. What the hell? Two days? How many? Okay. So let's assume maybe it's just five. Go and come back. Probably. Yeah. To take him and then come back. Okay. So that would be... T uh, five times two okay uh in just two days during his pads for you mentioned for me self-promotion tour okay so that's the thing he's been doing um regarding the homelessness oh my god <sighs> they spend more than they actually help oh my god when is the uk gonna wake up all right so there's the helicopter here what is that here uh two million pound to fix the uk housing crisis ha 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 i don't want to be churlish about prince william's new home world foundation however uh, uh, uh. ah so that's that oh there's more this year they're at a million all right what else they saying now okay using their names to bury as usual sovereign grant account show charles has begun his reign with royal expenditure funded by the taxpayers rising for a second year running the figure for the next expenditure increased by oh, <laughs> oh my god he, he's gonna shove it under the sovereign so nobody need to see but when certain things oh it's supposed to be public oh my god 
God bless the little people in the UK because they're taking you guys for a ride. Okay, the figure for the next expenditure increased by 5.1 million pound or 5% to 107.5 million pound. The royal households had fell again to meet its diversity target set in 2021 of drawing 10% of its workforce from ethnic minorities with the 2023 figures of 9.7% the same as last year. Helicopter flight, 179 journeys, oh my lord, topping 1 million pound. Whew. The Queen's former private secretary, Lord Young, who stayed on as joint principal private secretary to the King to help the transition from one monarch to another, received a compensation payment of 145 to 150,000 pound on top of his... <gasps> On top of 200,000 pounds, okay, to 205,000 pounds uh, salary after stepping down in May. So he had to come. Okay, I know. Because is it Edward Young? If it's that same person, is the one who had to deal with Harry's security. So they pay him to, you know, to make his son a life miserable, living hell, take his security and keep his mouth shut. So his, okay, so his salary is under 200,000 pounds and then they give him an additional of payment for what 145 to 150,000 pounds they all are baggage for God oh my lord okay so that was that okay he flies his helicopter like a car that uh, that's what he should be using a car all right and they raised the minimum reporting amount to 15,000 pounds per trip to 17,000 pounds per trip so they are hiding even more flights especially charters for traveling from residence to residence and helicopters trip in general whoo okay so what is that now sometimes i wonder if william or kate had this type of reaction on their event in uk will they had left megan alone <laughs> uh, so that's when megan went to visit that school there's some videos where they were in there People were standing on top of windows. People at work looking at the windows. Oh my lord. Yeah. That, I mean. Why can't they change from being evil and to be nice? All they need to do is be nice. But then again, it's a little bit too late. Nobody will believe them anymore. Okay. Uh, that's what crowd barriers are meant to do. No wonder the UK press can't move on. She had more crowd than the air. Yeah. Wow 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 there's more these are things i'm coming across now i don't 19 hours ago what happened to omid all of a sudden i'm seeing that at a time when more people have questioned about the british monarchy than ever before the need for spend free royal reporting has never been more important so there's another article here so <laughs> oh there's this here megan and harry paid let's pause Meghan and Harry paid more than two million pounds of refurbishment on the Crown Estate for Agmore Cottage, even when they barely lived there. They also paid more for furniture out of their own pocket. Yet, Yaleville taxpayers funded royals are living on palaces rent free and out of public funds. Okay, it's over the royals, isn't it? All right, the scene reminiscent uh, Beatle Media, Prince William is mobbed by friends as he visits. Aberdeen. All right, so there's that. I'll let you see it. It's 19 seconds. This is the crowd. They put barriers. <laughs> Ooh, that must be killing him inside. My goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so that's it. I did some extra here. So let's do. Oh, let's do a prayer. Prayer for. I don't know. Prosperity. prosperity and uh, let's do guidance oh what did I put prosperity and guidance okay give me assurance that as I seek your will you will bless me with prosperity may the love of the father the tenderness of the son and the presence of the spirit gladden my heart and bring joy to my soul today for all days through Jesus Christ our Lord amen all right so let's look for an image it sounds familiar to like the last prayer that i did let's do this one hopefully i could read it okay 
Okay, I don't want to struggle with that. It's small. When I'm editing, it's easy. You probably won't know it because I enlarge it. But um, when I'm reading it, uh, I'm already having issues with some text. All right. Prayer for abundance, prayer for blessing. O Jehovah, my God, you said to ask and we will surely receive. I want to believe in your word. So I ask that you work within me to trust you. Okay? You delight in taking care of your people. You created us not for any end of your own, but that we may be blessed through experiencing your perfect love. Bless me, good Lord, and do not turn your face away. Shower me with abundance and let your servant prosper. Amen. All right, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. All right, and I plan on work on my Patreon account and then make it public. I, if I do have the Patreon open by the time Invictus is there, there will be some content on Invic um, about Invictus on my Patreon. But majority of tweets, all right, keep that in mind. The majority of tweets will be on this channel. Let me show you. All right, it will be on this channel, our part of service. Okay, and I add it, I change it slightly because someone made a suggestion. Okay, our part of pure service. Pure has become part of my uh, go to name for my channels. Okay, so I only have 335. So if you don't see much tweet on my other channel, that's because this is where I'll be hanging out. Okay. Uh, right now, this channel is not monetized. So it's definitely not about the money. It's just that Invictus has to do with charity. And I, I already highlighted um, Invictus here. All right. I need to do more. I'm going on um, vacation uh, this weekend. Where's Invictus? I think this is that. All right. There's Invictus here. I've highlighted Invictus. So all the work, uh, the Invictus game, Germany, this is this channel. It will be in. Okay. But I'll try to put some other tweet on the other channel, you know, to keep it moving so people don't think there's nothing happening. All right. So I'm just letting you know. And then if, for instance, I have Patreon, there's something good, you know, let someone, whoever is gonna, you know, support me through Patreon, I'll put some stuff there. Not the same thing that, uh, you know what, let me not say because I don't know what my plan is. But definitely, I will be showing a lot of activities. Whatever that I see that has to do with Invictus will most likely be on this channel. Okay, so that is it. Thank you for your support. You know, we want, we ask for forgiveness and, uh, and please come back.
personally, we are all in this together. Because asking for help was one of the best decisions that I ever made. You will be continually amazed how life changes for the better.